see the transformation. Hi! Still a bit of a mess. How was your run? It was good. Yeah, really nice. Air de Campton cars let you know. So it's basically like a kind of campsite, but there's no toilets and showers and stuff but you just have to do all of that in your van. There's pitches and you can get an electrical hookup and there's some proper bad boys here. This one. Massive big buses. But it was 10 euros for the night which is quite good. So yeah we're just staying here for one night and we've had showers and stuff and now we'll fill up. Oh Andrew you just spilled, what? You just spilled a bit on the floor. On, on the floor. So we've made it to the old town of St Malo. Okay. <laughs> St Malo is very nice, I like it a lot. Yeah, and it's a historic French um, port just at the start of Brittany, so it's the first place we've been to in Brittany. So we left our uh, camping here this morning, we've driven to St Malo and then we're going to head along the coast. San Malo is a walled city and um, it was almost completely destroyed in 1944 by heavy bombing from the Allies so everything here today um, has actually been rebuilt. So just here is four room Vauborel which is from the novel um, All the Light We Cannot See and that's just about everything I can tell you about. <laughs> David Barr asked us to go and find yeah, it. Yeah. So, this is so here you are David Barr. Four room Four. Borel, I think that's Borel. Driving down to our park up for the night. Andrew found the swim. Let's see again, bud. So this is us for the night. A little park up by the beach, and we're about an hour along now from San Malo, and just next to another little place called. San Ruik. We're just going to go and walk with Nelly on the beach today. See you later, beach. We've decided to move on. We went down to the beach and there was a big attention sign, don't go on the beach because there's blue-green algae on the beach and we just went for a big beach walk, came back and we're like, oh crap. Anyways, we're not getting great vibes from the place anyways, so when you don't get good vibes, move on. So that's what we're doing. So we've got a 51 minute drive to another place called Mohan. So it's the next morning and we've ended up in a little town called Mohan, which is a tiny little town, population of about a thousand in central Brittany. We're staying in a, another camping air. It's just a little space for the camp fans to stop. That's a little town in Mohan up there. And this is where we're parked. So there's a couple of places for camp fans to park some benches to use and then there's also um, facilities so there's water and waste and toilet waste um, as well and all of this costs absolutely nothing so it's completely free to park here tonight um, or last night so today we're going to move on um, and head down the coast good morning everybody it's a nice day in So we've stopped now at the Karnak Standing Stone, or the Alignment de Karnak. These are the uh, biggest set of standing stones in Europe.
It's a new night, new park up to where parked literally just over that sand dune in the beach car park which you can stay in in low season overnight and then just at the car park takes you right down onto the beach with this view. This is a pretty good find tonight. reluctant to come back to the van after a run on the beach. A run on the beach. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? So I made Millie's tea and I'm just gonna make our tea and I thought I would show you what kind of things we make in here. Oh spread bowl on the floor. Um right so we're gonna make wrap pizzas tonight. So we've got wraps with some saucy salt, red onion, jambon, gouda or gouda, barbecue sauce and tomato puree for the top and some salt as well and this is so good, the sriracha mayo. So yeah, we are going to do that, it's nice and easy, I just need to shove it in the oven, make it up and put it in the oven. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it'll be good. We haven't actually made one of these yet in the van, but we have used the oven, so um, we'll see how it goes. Right, here it is, just before it goes in the oven. Eh, voila! And then I would suggest a topping of sriracha mayo sauce because it is so freaking good. Just get a good squirt of that on. And there is an easy van dinner. We're finally feeling the benefits of coming a bit further south. It's now sunny and not roasting hot, but reasonably warm. It's nice. Yeah, it's a nice temperature. We just went out a uh, run along the beach this morning and we can have the van open and not have to hunker down in the van for once. So getting there. Doing our services again. This is a regular occurrence in van life. This is a supermarket. This is a supermarket like it's called Super U, this supermarket. And they have a camper van, like waste section. So yeah, yeah we can uh, we fill up the water here. We paid two euros for this, so we filled up the water here, emptied our toilet into there, which Andrew's already done. That's our toilet cassette. Nice and, and empty. Waste. And yeah, emptied the waste. Here we are in our vineyard with um, grapes all around us, stumps all around us. So not time to harvest them yet, obviously. That's what they look like just now. Just like little stumps. They get harvested from September onwards, so. We arrived in the town of San Emilion, named after a hermit Emilion who arrived here in mid 8th century. Last night we spent in that vineyard, we had a wine tasting, tried the 2019 uh, variety of the vineyard we stayed at and we bought a couple of bottles and had a nice quiet night, it was real good. Got 
south enough that it feels warm and we've had to open the windows. Look out there. It's actually oh. warm. Welcome to the south of France. <laughs> How's it going, Andrew? It's going well. Ugh. Bring this water that you have to hold on and it breathes out <laughs> as well. <laughs> How was your run round? It was good, thanks. Feeling good. Feeling really good. I could go on the sea now. So just a quick update because we've not done uh, done much video in the last couple of days because we met um, another couple from Britain so we've kind of been spending time with them and chatting and we've <laughs> not been brave enough to bring the camera out yet have we? So we spent the time in the forest um, next to the beach just down from um, Arkachon. We then went to just above Beirut's and stayed in a um, camp near next to the beach and yeah that's where we met this couple uh, uh, Lauren and Rich so we spent the past two days with them and we spent some time on the beach yesterday at Beirut's we then drove in Spain, so we're now in Spain whoop, whoop. and just come down just next to Bilbao, just above Bilbao and we spent the night here last night, we've got a really nice sunset which we need to get the drone up for and we decided to stay here again tonight it's the first day that we've spent two days somewhere so it means we can just chill out today go on some nice walks, we went to run this morning oh, down to Dragonstone so it just overlooks where Dragonstone is from Game of Thrones we, yeah. <laughs> so we went a uh, run down there today then we're just going to walk out to the lighthouse and then we're just going to chill out again this evening 